And hello everybody and welcome back to my Armored Core Master of Arena Let's Play. Uh, I just wanted to show off that head I got real quick. Just to, you know, just because I want to. It's a heavily armored head. Um, I mean, it, it's alright. It, it's... But it's, yeah, kind of on the heavy side. Oh no, it was this head that we got. Never mind. Wrong head. Um, yeah, it's actually not that heavy, but we're going to stick with this head for now. I think I am going to change out my weaponry. Go for, uh,. Kind of a more ballistically inclined weaponry. And uh, we're gonna switch out our pulse rifle there for a machine gun. We have this here, which is the linear gun, which is a pretty decent pretty decent weapon. And then, I mean, I guess we could go all out and go for the grenade launcher. Mm, that is pretty heavy, though. Switch out for the, uh, this generator, which recharges faster, so there we go. Go ahead and go for optional parts. Sure, why not? All right, now on to the missions. I do believe let's see, we'll go with Cavern Invasion, Lana Nielsen, Reward Zero. Rumor has it that a group of of enemies have infiltrated the cavern in the SC sector of the city. According to information, the cavern is being used by a company to store important materials. We think the enemy forces that entered the cavern are after these materials. The target is a Raven AC hired as an escort. Ignore all other enemies. Seek out and destroy the AC, then escape. Bong. That's my computer making noise. Uh, okay, so this mission has a hidden part in it. How do I know that? I just do. So we're going to go through the mission. Main system engaging combat mode. These things are in it, which are big, bulky, actually fairly mobile MTs, but they have a burst fire machine gun and a pile bunker for a melee attack, which actually will do a not in substantial amount of damage. But yeah, the, this mission actually has a uh, hidden part in it. See how it goes. Ooh. Ow, see what I mean? They do a decent, decent amount of damage. Ow. Although they're not as fast as an AC in full motion, so... Go! 
how their machine guns have a lot of impact recoil. Enemy AC detected. It's Evil Kiss, a member of the subarena. Okay, trying to remember how to get to this place. He's a heavy humanoid legged type AC equipped with a missile launcher. It's going to be a long fight. Keep an eye on your ammo. Ah, there it is. Ow. Oh god, he has the big missile after me. Ah, there it is. Die, die. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's this way. Gun turrets. Why are there so many gun turrets in here? Ah, there it is. These things, AC which are not very good, but you know, whatever. There we go. Now to go kill this enemy AC. I am at kind of a low-ish AP amounts, but that's all right. you fire that plasma pulse cannon like crazy fast. There we go. See, not actually all that hard to kill. Uh, the AI is not particularly accurate as far as AC fire goes, but what you say I didn't actually catch it. Uh -huh. What, I'll have to escape now? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, damn. I didn't actually catch what she said. can't figure out how to get it. okay
clear. Target of operation clear. There we go. I was supposed System to leave. I was being dumb. <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, that's the second hidden part. There's only three hidden parts in the game, actually. Strangely enough, for some reason. We have mail. Let's see what the mail is. Arena registration. Good day. I'm a representative from Prog Tech, and I have had the privilege of observing your performance. We have taken note of your abilities and have decided to sponsor your entry into the arena. Please accept, and as a small gift, 50,000 credits and an AC part we have developed. We look forward to your success in the arena. So that's nice. Lana Nielsen, ProgTech is a company that has grown significantly during recent years. This is largely due to their groundbreaking achievements in AC-related developments. A brilliant scientist who serves as the company's head of development is behind a number of their revolutionary parts. The part you received is probably one of these. The arena is nothing more than a convenient place for ProgTech to advertise, so take care and don't let them take advantage of you. Should your rating increase due to the success, success in both the missions and the sub-arena, you may be called up to the actual arena. That is all. She likes to end her messages with, that is all. And we can now take part in the sub-arena. Which is nice. So, we're going to make some changes to our AC. Actually, I'm going to check the shop, see if there's anything been added. I doubt it, but it never hurts to check. Okay. So we're going to change up our AC. Since we're going to be fighting actual ACs now, we're going to go back to being a bipedal, and we're going to have a combination of uh, gun, missiles, and that sort of thing. Actually, be pretty decent, but okay. Haven't quite gone that far yet. Looking for a specific leg part that's kind of heavyweight, but still kind of fast. There it is. Uh, I say kind of fast, but... Okay, we'll keep the rest of the setup, but we're going to... Throw on the Karasawa. Equip impossible? Oh, okay. I know what's happening here. Well, since we're fighting ACs, I'm actually going to change out my arms for some of the weapon arms. Because the weapon arms are generally pretty fucking awesome. And we're going to go with... One thing I do 
find annoying is how slow it takes to cycle through the different weapons. We'll go with those as my weapon arms. Although, since I'm having this set up, I could actually go back to the lightweight legs. That would actually be pretty fun. Not those, because they have terrible weight capacity. But those. 383. Can you possibly use the other ones? Four, five, one. Still not quite enough to wield it. And these are the starter legs, which are not very good. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to go with that. Actually, can I change my generator? Hmm, still a little too heavy. That's fine. All right, uh, optional parts. I think we'll just leave those off, leave those as is. We don't really need the energy weapon stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and do some arena matches for the rest of the episode. Advantage Shield 9, considered the best at mid-range battles. He does not allow his opponents to get cl uh, too close. I mean, says the guy holding a slug gun, which is a short-range weapon. We're going to fight in the dome. Which is actually not that safe of an arena, if you think about it, because, like, if you break the glass and the water comes in and kills everyone, like, it's not really that great of an arena, because it's very dangerous. have enough ammunition to kill him. I actually have to seriously change up my build because this guy's kicking my ass. Hmm. Well, he uh, he would have won because I ran out of ammo. All right. Duly noted, lesson learned, don't be an idiot. All right. Uh, hold on. No. I keep hitting X. I keep restarting the fight when that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to change out. I want to try the laser cannon arms, actually. I guess I could just go for the Karasawa build, honestly. That might be better. Alright, I'm going to try again with a different weapon arm. That's what I want to select. A different weapon arm this time, not the chain guns. Not, not against the tank guy, at least. Bazooka, missiles, uh, another bazooka, more missiles, plasma cannon, and this bad boys actually puts me overweight. That's fine. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the quad leg, honestly. change out the back weapon. I mean, I could try out the new 
impact weapon, which is a plasma cannon, but it's not a very good plasma cannon, but you know what? Why not? I'm gonna change out our optional parts. Honestly, I'm pretty sure this doesn't actually affect what the AI does, but... Go. Let's try this again, but uh, uh, apparently going all in with ballistics against a heavy defense tank, not a good idea. Who would have seen that coming? Um, apparently not me. <laughs> Looking at the time of uh, how long we're going for the recording here, I might actually end up calling it good after this and maybe one more fight. God, you have a fucking machine gun of death. Ha! Laser cannons win! <laughs> oh man. He has a very savage DPS output, that's for sure. But I beat him. Mostly because energy weapons are broke as shit in this game. So he has a machine gun, a missile launcher, and a slug gun. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But, uh, I got him. <laughs> the energy cannon arms that I'm using are very powerful, but they have very limited ammunition, which is perfectly fine for, uh, arena work not so good in like actual missions and the like 10,000 and I got a new part let's go take a look at that shall we something I want to show you is you don't actually get a description of it in the garage you have to use oh god yeah you have to use the shop to show you the parts category. It is a small missile with 40. A heat-seeking missile that tracks its targets. Uh, I mean, it's an okay small missile. Nothing particularly special, but... This is clearly a vertical missile. I don't know why they call it a mortar shell. This is also a small ammo. This, or a small missile with lots of ammo, but low attack power. This missile launcher is terrible. Don't use it. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do another arena match. And then we'll call it good for this episode. He is backed by Prog Tech and is relatively new at piloting an AC. But his skills are incredible. <laughs> We're gonna fight against Noble, piloting Starman. So he has a really, like, actually dangerous looking AC because he has a finger, he has the plasma cannon, a radar. But he's, like, not that good of a pilot. So but we'll see. The other guy was, like, actually pretty decent. Although I may just be dumb. <laughs> Admittedly, the machine gun he was using is just a really good machine gun, so... This backhand is so weird. Eh, not, not too hard. Um, <laughs> that was kind of pathetic, honestly.
So yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so that's literally it. Just plasma cannon finger. I don't even know if he has a laser. He probably does have a laser blade. There we go. Kill him with the... Probably one of the worst weapons in the game. That dual back plasma cannon thing. I mean, I guess it's okay at close range, but it is not very good at anything besides very close range. But it's funny. It basically shoots out little frisbees of plasma at a pretty slow velocity. There we go. 10,000. And we get actually a very cool weapon. Let me show this off real quick before we call it good, as it were. Er, so this is the first incarnation. I it's the arm weapons. So it goes back weapons, and then we'll go arm weapons, I think. There it is. So, it's a laser rifle, but it fires two beams at once. And, uh, it's actually a pretty powerful weapon. Let me, let me show it to you real quick. Let's switch over to, uh, actual arms. Oh, yeah, this is the one weapon that he gave us. It's a... It's a laser blade, but it's a blade wave generator. I guess I can show that off as well. So there we go. Go ahead and should do an AC test real quick, and then we're going to probably call it good for this episode. I don't want to make these episodes too, too long. Because I know that can get... Engaging test mode. So yeah. Uh, see? It fires two beams. With two different impact points. However, unlike what would happen in later games, one beam, or like one round is... Uh, one round from the ammunition capacity is still two beams. Instead of firing using two rounds per shot. That's something that they would change in later games. That it makes so that the multi-beam weaponry isn't as overpowered, I guess. Which, these are the... I guess it doesn't go any lower than that. Yeah, this is what the, uh... That other, that blade does. It does a blade wave. So, if you don't have Human Plus, this is the only way to get a blade wave in Master of Arena is with this. On the upside... You can do it in mid-air, unlike the Human Plus Blade Wave, which has to be done on the ground. Yeah, it's a pretty neat little thing. These are the old enemy from Armored Core 1. I don't think you actually fight these in the game, in the base game. They're only uh, available here. Basic MT with a uh, jetpack and machine guns. Target demolished. There you go. Halting so, we're going to go ahead and call this episode good here. Uh, thank you, everybody, who tuned in to watch. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that you found this entertaining uh, to some degree. And uh, I shall be seeing you all in the next episode. Take care.